All right, let's calculate the period of the graph of a few trigonometric functions. So first of all, we have tangent of 11 pi over 12 multiplied by x. So to calculate any of these periods, what you always want to do is start with the original period for the typical tangent graph or secant graph, depending on whatever you're dealing with, and then divide that by this multiple that's located on the inside here attached to x. So the original period for tangent is going to be just pi. And this would be the same thing for cotangent as well. However, if you had any of the other four, sine, cosine, secant, or cosecant, those have an original period of two pi. All right, so we start with pi and we divide by 11 pi over 12, which is equivalent to saying pi, the numerator multiplied by the reciprocal, 12 over 11 pi. The pi's get to cancel out in this case. So we're gonna say 12 over 11 is gonna be the period for the function that we're given. For the second one here, we're gonna start with the original period for secant, which again is two pi. And we're gonna divide by this multiple on the inside. So it's multiplied by nine fifths. So we're gonna divide by that, which is equivalent to saying two pi multiplied by the reciprocal five over nine which does a little bit of reducing down as we think about multiplying numerators and get 10 pi and multiplying denominators and getting nine. All right, so 10 pi over nine is gonna be the period for the function that we're given. All right, I hope this helps in calculating periods of trigonometric functions.